In this video, we're talking about one of the most powerful things you can do on your website. I love them. I love doing this tactic. I'm going to teach you it. This is about listicles. A listicle. Listicle. Listicles are just a list of things, right? Weird word. Very weird word, but very powerful SEO tactic. To begin, we're going to type in best mattress in the search bar. And look, auto suggest is going to have a lot of value. We'll come back to it. We're going to come back to it. But best mattress. Let's say I need a new mattress, right? I need a new mattress. We come to Tom's Guide, New York Times, and Good, good Housekeeping, right? Good Housekeeping. That's how you say it. The best mattresses, 2023. This is a listicle, all right? And it's a mega listicle. I mean, this thing goes on and on. Let's check out this listicle. I need you to know what a listicle is. The best mattresses for 2023. Look, 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 look. Best foam mattresses, all right? They're trying to tease out. Look, best latex mattresses. They're trying to tease out things here, and I'm going to get into that. So let's jump to Ahrefs. Let's type in mattress and let's include any of these. Best, top, versus, worst. These are all listicles, a list of things. It could be the best, the worst. A lot of people type in best into Google. This is why it works so well. And then we see here, here are our results. Best mattress brands, best mattress, best queen mattress. Whenever you have a modifier, right? Instead of just best mattress, then you have best queen mattress. You kind of went from here and you went further down into the funnel. And then when you do that, you're able to compete easier. See here, the keyword difficulty for this one is a 15 opposed to 57 and 72. Now, organization, when you do these tactics, is very important. I'll have this spreadsheet that we're going to work on. Just click the link in the description. You can download it for free, not a problem. You may not have Ahrefs, right? A lot of people don't. That's cool. Best mattress, right? How are we going to find the derivatives? Auto suggest helps us big time. So we have best mattresses, best mattress for back pain, brands. Uh, back pain seems to be one. Side sleepers, Reddit. Oh my gosh, don't even talk to me about Reddit UGC content. Uh, best mattress, 2023 consumer reports, best luxury mattress. All these things are different intents from a user. So how are we going to take it and then build it out? Now, I want you to be lazy like me. There's good lazy and there's bad lazy. Let's be good lazy, right? So article tier one is the best mattresses for 2023. That's obvious, right? This is going to be your top article, like the most important one regarding mattresses. And then from this one, if you're clever, if you're good, you can link down to different ones. And I started thinking to myself, okay, we saw back pain, but then I was like, okay, what else? Be lazy. Chat GBT. Here, look at all these. We have 20 of them. Let's just push them here, right? Push them here. Woohoo! Wow. And look, this was the prompt. I'm creating a hub for best mattresses. Give me idea for suffixes at the end of this. The best mattresses for blah blah blah. Not hard to do at all, right? But what I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to kind of delete. I'm gonna delete the ones that I think are kind of trash. We don't always have to use Ahrefs and keyword tools, right? We can use common sense. And here's the ones I deleted, right? I mean, do you agree with this? The best mattresses for sweet dreams. Do you think someone's typing into Google sweet dreams? I mean, come on. Uh, for a restful night, that could be eh. But the ones I like, you know, back pain, comfort and support, ultimate relaxation, luxury. We already saw luxury, affordable, eco-friendly. These ones make sense. But if you want to take it to the next level, go to uh, ChatGPT. And I said, give me a list of each adjective you mentioned, right? Separated by commas. They kind of paired the phrase. And I said, give each word separated by commas. So I want each word, each individual word. Then we came over to Ahrefs and I pushed 35 different words separated by commas. And then you can kind of tease out, ooh, is there anything here that, you know, ChatGPT mentioned that's really, really good? Now, before we move on to mattresses, because mattresses are way more complicated than what I'm going to show you here. This is the beginner level. The nine rarest and beautiful ethereums in the world. A tight intro and we move on. I'm going to show you how this is structured very purposefully. If you type in the Google rarest ethereum, this is how it renders on Google. Luckily, which I do not know how it does this, right? Maybe you do. Tell me in the comments. Sometimes it gives renderings of the images. And if you have consistency within images, my goodness, that looks beautiful. We're the number one SERP. Now, have you ever watched the Marvel things, you know, like Thor and not, I was going to say Batman, not Batman, but Thor. Thor's hammer. Molinear, I think that's what it's called. Everything is like a hammer in my articles for the most part. Two to three sentences for an introduction about this one. So it's an H2. Two to three sentences with bullet points. This, to me, in my mind, looks like a hammer, right? Big chunk of text, bullet points. Big ch chunk of text, bullet points. Rinse and repeat. Is this a lot of words right here? No, it's not that much. You know, it's not a lot of words, not a huge amount of words. Let's go to this one. 
Oh, there's the hammer again. Now we're going to type in types of philodendron into Google before we get into the complicated thing with the mattresses, because that is much more complicated, you're going to see. Uh, types of philodendron, this is a huge listicle that I've been working on. The number one search result is the spruce. Let's just click into here and check them out. 25 types of philodendron to grow indoors. And there you go. Do you see the hammer format? Paragraph text, bullet points. Paragraph text, bullet points. So I'm not the only one doing this. This thing works. Let's see um, Let's see if Epic Garden then does it. Let's just look. I'm just curious now. Text, text, text. Big bodies of text, all right? I think that works well for this. So long as the text, the big old paragraphs are not, you know, three, four, five sentences long. Nonetheless, let's come down to mine. We're right here, right? So we're battling for this. I'm going to show you. Here we are right here. If we were to go to Ahrefs, this is what it looks like, our graph. We pushed this live in October, and we're gaining some ground organic traffic, like 500 a month. Great. But this is what it looks like, the 76 types of philodendron to grow indoors. Now, why 76? Well, because I just want more than everyone else. You can see, you know, the spruce, what they have. They had 25. Uh, Epic Garden and understands, you know, more better, 61 different types, 20, 30, 12, 76. So my hope is having just a huge amount will help over time. But there's something, and look, the handle, do you see it? You know, Molinier's hammer? I don't know, you can call it that. But do you see what else is happening here? Each and every one of these H2s are clickable. In other words, this is truly a tier one post, right? And it goes down into the real care guide for that specific philodendron. Now, how did we do that? We first built it out. We first built it out with, you know, just the species, philodendron, whatever. We had these articles. So then we're like, ooh, we can make a huge listicle because we just covered 71 different philodendron and there's different ways to chop this up. So look at your website, see what your raw material is in the sense of like, what have I written already? And how can you utilize that with a listicle? Now we're going to jump into the mattresses, right? And I told you it's going to be more complicated. This video right here, I'm going to have a link in the description, the hybrid consensus, right? And I have an article here. You can read the article right here. This is kind of intense, right? The strategy is kind of intense in terms of what you need to do to make it work, but it does work if you have the authority expertise on your website and you know how to do it right. Now type in best mattresses back into Google. We are going to control click on the top three SERPs, right? You can do this for any niche. This is a rinse and repeat tactic. We have Times Guide, New York Times, and Good Housekeeping, right? This one, this one, and this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up here to SEO Meta in one click, and we're going to grab all the headers. Very easy. And we're going to push all of the headers over here into one mega Google Doc. This is merely just a copy and paste. Just show me the headers for my top three competitors. Now, this is where we have some fun, right? So what I asked of ChatGPT, oh my goodness, parse out every mattress mentioned. That's a very easy prompt. And I just push all the headers. And look here, they're going to give us a lot of different mattresses were mentioned. Look, how many is this? This is 36. All right, now we're going to ask which mattresses were mentioned twice or more. All right, this is pretty cool. There, mention twice, mention twice. All right, rearrange the mattresses in order of most mentioned and down. So now, this is kind of like a quick way to do um, the hybrid consensus method, a very quick way. All right, give me a master list with most mentioned highest right? Because we want Google to know that we agree with consensus. Here are the best mattresses, and everyone's already saying they're the best mattresses, and then let's just continue to give value. Now we get to use Claude. Claude is very, very powerful for what we're going to do here. But this, this is the beginnings of an article, a listicle. It doesn't have to be complicated. I pushed all these to an H2 format, right? And here's the title. So now we just need to go one by one and talk about these things. And what's cool is, all right, that's going, what I can do right? I can have all of the text for th all three of those articles pushed into a corpus. This is just a TXT file. And I can ask, look, I've included a master corpus of information on mattresses. Refer to it. Tell me three sentences on why this mattress is excellent and give, th uh, I said 305. Oh my goodness. That stinks. I, I wanted to say three to five bullet points on its unique features. Now it's going to give me literally 305 bullet points. That stinks. But the point is this. When you're dealing with products, right, 
the LLMs, ChatGPT, Claw, these things don't have that in their corpus, in their in their knowledge base, most likely. They may in the future, but I always kind of seed them with information based upon competitors and then build it out from there.